Isn't evolution just a theory? It is a common misconception among non-scientists that evolution is just a theory. But I think that comes from them thinking that a theory is sort of a, a careless idea that really doesn't have a lot of evidence. It's probably wrong anyway. In everyday language, um, a theory it basically is a hunch or a guess. But in science, it is not. Theories are the heart of science. They pull together observations, laws, hypotheses, and inferences into coherent explanations for the great mysteries of the universe. In the 1800s, Charles Darwin observed the enormous diversity of life on Earth and set out to explain it. From the evidence he collected, Darwin developed his theory of evolution by natural selection. The theory that explains how new species originate. If the globe has undergone such profound changes in its history, geologically, surely all living creatures must have changed with it to adapt to their new conditions. Well, otherwise, they would have perished. What theory does is it draws the ideas together, it draws observations together, makes sense of them to allow you to make expectations. That's what theory is. And then we go and test those expectations. People used to believe that the sun revolved around the Earth because that's how it looked. Over time, the steady accumulation of evidence supported a different theory, that the Earth and other planets revolve around the sun. And what about gravity? said, oh, gravity, it's just a theory. I don't believe in it. A lot of people seem to think that you need to be able to see something directly in order to accept it as a, a good scientific idea. But in reality, all you're seeing when you see a book falling are the effects of gravity. You're not really seeing gravity itself. Gravity is something, in terms of gravitation theory, something that we have yet to fully explain. Even so, we still rely on theories to make predictions that help us conduct our lives. To travel, to heal the sick, and to explore the universe. Apollo 11, this is Houston, over. Before anyone had ever traveled to the moon, NASA scientists applied gravitation theory to predict what it would be like to move in the lunar environment. So -called kangaroo hop. Predictions like these are called inferences. An inference is a conclusion you can draw from the available evidence. If I place this cube on the table, and you have the five, and the one, and the three, and the six, and the four. What would you say is on the bottom? Again, you have the five, and the one, and the three, and the six, and the four. One can infer by looking at the data that's uh, the observable data that number two would be at the bottom. Charles Darwin inferred from the evidence available to him that all living creatures, including humans, descended from a common ancestor. I think it's more like a tree. A tree of life. Each new species is a new shoot that springs from the parent tree. These new shoots branch out and develop in their turn and so on. Some branches die out, others keep developing. The trunk the ancient common ancestor. Today, scientists continue to find evidence that supports Darwin's common ancestor inference in the fossil record and in genes. With new discoveries, details of scientific theories are refined, and scientists are comfortable with the notion that theories are constantly challenged and amended. 
That's the nature of science. If apples suddenly start rising, you can be sure that some aspect of gravitation theory will change. But science will not reject the very idea that there is a force called gravity. New discoveries may also refine elements of the theory of evolution by natural selection. But the notion that the Earth and its inhabitants have evolved from a common ancestor will not change. I don't think any person with even a small amount of scientific background would reject cell theory or atomic theory or germ theory that pathogens cause disease just because we think of those ideas as theories. The theory of evolution is no different. Like other scientific theories, evolution also helps us make sense of the natural world in which we live.